Today I'm gonna to show you how to turn this into this, instead of, well, this. This is a PL, and to most early stage companies, this is just trash. Yeah, your revenue is in there, but you probably already knew what your revenue was from Stripe or Termogul or from whatever platform you're using that is definitely nicer, better designed, easier to read. Expenses are there, but they're categorized in this bunch of lines that don't make sense, numbers don't match, they don't classify with the same categories that you're thinking about, who has time to get on the phone with your accountant and, and fix it? So if all of this sounds familiar, you're not alone. In a large company, the CFO is a connection between you and likely a team of bookkeepers whose job is to categorize these expenses and check that the numbers add up. In a small startup, the CFO doesn't exist. Those accountants are probably outsourced and well, you end up with this useless report every month. The reality is that we have to be our own CFOs and the budgets that we come up with make or break companies. So let me show you how to use this useless piece of junk to predict the future. So first, let's level the playing field if you're completely new to this. This is a profit and loss statement or a PL. It's made up of revenue at the top, then costs, then operational expenses. Revenue minus costs gives you your gross profit margin, which is a very important number. It should show how profitable your core business is without counting the operational expenses. So a software business probably has a gross profit margin in the 80s or 90% because the costs are really just a bunch of servers. A retail business probably has a gross profit in the 30% range. Uber's gross profit margin is also around 35%. That's revenue, everything that you pay them against the cost of the drivers and the servers and so on. Operational expenses is everything else. This is where your payroll lives, where your marketing costs live, sales commissions, and we're gonna get to those in a second. This section is usually called OPEX or SGNA. But most SGNA lines are small. They're small uh, maintenance expenses, your internet bill, your, your dinner out with clients, your plane tickets, your rent. You don't wanna to spend too much time worrying about these because most of them aren't gonna to change too much. They're not gonna make or break your business, but they do add up. So let's start forecasting those. Subscription tools will probably scale based on your team size. More people means more seat. And the same goes for stuff like rent. The simple way to do that on a spreadsheet is to keep track of your team size every month, take the expense value from the PL and do a rule of three. And that's that. That would be expenses last month divided by team size last month multiplied by team size next month. Other expenses like utilities, bank fees, legal fees, accounting team, they're probably not gonna change much over time. So what you can do is just scale them with an average. I usually do an average of the last three months just to make sure that there aren't any spikes that get forecasted for the future. Google Sheets or Excel will do this using the average formula. Those two hacks will cover really like 90% of the lines in your PL. You can literally take the PL sheet when you get it from your accountants, apply this formula to each line, and get a decent prediction of what expenses are gonna look like next month. But how about the others? That's where it gets trickier. What a noob founder is gonna do is take whatever revenue happens, grow it by 10%, and that's it. I've seen far too many models that use this approach, and it's just plain wrong, so please don't do it. 10% monthly growth creates this beautiful hockey stick chart, but can you bet your startup on that 10% being real? What if it's not 10%, but 8%? People's jobs depend on that very, very simple formula in a spreadsheet. More crucially, in order to generate that revenue, you're probably gonna have to spend money in marketing or you're gonna have to grow your sales team. So in other words, some expenses need to grow first in order for that revenue to grow. And there are a few expenses that will probably grow because you generated more revenue. And that starts to get a little messy, but I've got you. What you need is a map. We call this a financial model map patent pending. Kidding, of course, patents are stupid. Go watch our other video. But this is a term that's not popular at all. I don't think we've seen it before. You can Google it, we'll show up. The color coding here is green for revenue, cyan for expenses, and magenta for costs. And in a nutshell, you normally need to spend money to generate revenue, which creates costs. It's a cause and effect type of thing. And a good example here would be, for example, say paid marketing. So the more you spend in these paid marketing campaigns, that's SGNA, the more customers you have, the more revenue you make. If you're say a subscription platform, for example, the more customers you have, the bigger your hosting costs are going to be. Now, if you use Stripe, the more revenue you make, the bigger your credit card fees. You can make a model map for any business from, from an e-commerce to a mobile app, to a marketplace, to a media publication slash newsletter. I've modeled all of these. You can screenshot those or you can download them. I'm gonna link them below. Mapping your business like this lets you solve the remaining lines on that list. They're not averages, they're not rules of three, but now those forecasts should become really accurate because they are taking real historical 
cost of acquisitions to convert dollars into customers. And then what comes out on the other end should be pretty exact. Even if you're a pre-revenue company, you can find references for what these numbers are, what good ranges can be, blog posts or podcasts around marketing or sales. Let me show you our own numbers. So we spent money on our YouTube team to make this YouTube video, which we expect will get a few thousand views. About 2% of them, or well, 2% of you, <laughs> will visit our website and some will download one of the templates that we built and become our leads. Some of you don't want the template at all. You need some human help to get this stuff sorted for your company. So you're gonna connect with our sales team, hopefully. Our sales team needs to scale. Normally for us, it's one person every 100 leads or so. And then a percentage of those will subscribe to our financial modeling services, which of course have humans tied to them and those are costs. And this looks like a tangle, but the exercise of untangling it and putting it on a board or even on a piece of paper, this is what lets you understand what you need to focus on to grow. Is it spending more on the marketing end? Is it improving the conversion rate? Is it retaining customers longer? Is it increasing the revenue per customer? There's a question, how much can we spend on marketing or, or spend per video before these economics break? I haven't used the word yet because I kind of hate the term, but this is, this is a financial model. It's a bad word, I think, because it's a mouthful and it's scary and it sounds like finance, bro, but it's what you need. A financial model stands between your company and your bookkeepers. When you place this tangle back against your PL and connect each one of these lines, you've actually created a crystal ball, especially if the inputs like the cost of acquisition or the conversion rates are based on your actual inputs and your actual historicals. This is what lets you budget adding someone else to the team. It's what lets you forecast how much money you would need to raise from investors. It's what lets you find out what KPIs matter most and which ones are gonna impact revenue the most. And the backbone of it all is this model map. Now we hold monthly, completely free webinars where we build one spreadsheet live for one of the companies in the session. It doesn't take as long as you might think to untangle this logic, so hopefully we can help. But if you're in a hurry, you can always follow our model map, download one of our free templates, or just enlist our team to help out. Catch you on the next one.